She's alone. Now is the chance to pounce. Go ahead. Hit her with your best line. My love for you is like diarrhea. Sometimes I just can't hold it in. <laughs> I think that worked. It, it took her a good 10 seconds to realize that he was even sitting there, but... <laughs> It definitely worked. Okay, wonderful. Oh, uh, that was a quick pee. How you huh. feeling? Oh, it burns when you pee? Oh, no. You should get that checked out. It should not do that. <laughs> he didn't pass that on to you. I, I don't even care. You want to head to the bone zone? <laughs>「guys, welcome to Mischief to Couple Live Action」。That's right, some of you guys might remember that I've played quite a few Mischief to Couple games on this channel. And while they've all been hilarious, none of them looked like this. As far as I could tell, the developers kind of realized that drawing and animating a video game is a lot more work than just filming your friends on your cell phone. So we can expect some really cringy acting out of this while we do whatever it is we're gonna do. Honestly, I don't even know how this is gonna work. The description of this game, again, isn't all that descriptive. The ex-boyfriend broke up with me and hurt my heart. How can I get him to be with him current girlfriend? I must tear them apart. This is a game of breaking loose couples. All you have to do is create traps and misunderstandings and let them break up. It is an application of the escape game style. You guys are watching me on a Google video platform play something from a Google gaming platform that was made using Google Translate. If that's not a dystopian future, I don't know what is. I'd imagine it's going to be very similar to all the other games where we have to sabotage their relationship in about uh, two seconds because I apparently don't have any time or any idea what I can interact with. Oh my god, there actually are full-blown cutscenes. <gasps> Why are you petting her? <laughs> <laughs> there isn't even any audio. They just added random sound effects. Like you could hear the flower crinkle and her say thank you and then the visual overlay of the hearts. But this is so much more than I could have ever hoped for. At least in the animated games, it was just a giant blank room with items in it. So you knew what you could interact with. But in this case, you're left completely guessing as to what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, now you don't have any flowers so I get a completely different game over scene <laughs> all right I make a lot of jokes but I gotta say this is amazing how about we take these flowers and then we give them to you no you've got to be back there for some reason lady who I've now taken I can't imagine that's gonna make a difference no well <laughs> No difference to them. I didn't break them up and then get her back, but I did manage to abduct sexy bench lady. Silver medal? So we'll take the flowers, we'll take the bench lady. Do you want the bench lady? No? Are you sure? Because she's a real looker. Maybe she can help me sabotage things. Jesus. <laughs> it's so fluid. It's a peak uncanny valley. Oh, yeah. Deliver the performance of a lifetime, but give her some of the prayer hands and maybe some of the... <laughs> okay, I couldn't have predicted the run after her like a velociraptor made out of pool noodles, but at the same time, I think he's a shoe in for the Oscar. So despite the whole bench thought incident, they're still together. It looks like they're going for a lovely walk in the park. And he's getting ready to take a photo of her. Okay. So we probably want to screw up that photo. Except I kind of want to let him do it. Like, I know this is going to lead to a game over, but at the same time, I want to see all the game overs because they're hilarious. <laughs> of course, the picture is perfect because she's perfect. And... He keeps petting her. Why does he keep petting her? Is it to stop the hearts from coming out of her head? Because I would imagine that's a very serious medical condition. This guy clearly has no sweet clue what he's doing. Okay, Lee, you should definitely seek a professional's help. If you were my girlfriend, then I would bring you to the best head doctor in town, which, believe it or not, is me. And I'll tell you right now that the only cure to floaty heart heady isosis is a blow dryer to the left ear. You see? No hearts. It's just the way it is. That's what I can provide in a relationship. Yeah. You might see the side effect of fire, but that'll subside in a couple of days. 
I wonder if we're gonna get a single cutscene without awkward touching. I hope not. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's just there's so much to dissect in every single one of these. Mainly fashion this time around. Like, lady, even I know that you shouldn't wear tube socks with a dress. And look at this legend in the back. Who goes out to the bar wearing Nike pumps and shorts to sample sparkling wine? Uh, excuse me, sir. I don't suppose I could have that glass, could I? Oh. Okay, well, how about we insert Mr. Steel Yo Girl into the situation? Hello there. Uh, they call me Adobe Premiere. Maybe I can crash at your place tonight. Whoa, whoa, bud. You're dressed for high school basketball tryouts, not an MMA match. <laughs> so unless you want to punch your ticket to Pound Town, you, you better take your girl and walk off. Well, didn't really work out, but now we've got wine and their drinks are mine. Well, clearly we're going to have to insert Mr. Steel Yo Girl into the situation at some point. I don't know when, but I'm not going to do him dirty and just leave him back there frozen, staring into that glass in the meantime. So you can go ahead, just lean back in my pockets, relax, while I figure out what it is I need to do to influence the two of you. Clearly something that I'm missing here, right? Maybe I can finally haul up those socks? No? <laughs> Wishful thinking? Actually, in all reality, that would just make things worse. I I'm just really grasping at straws here. I don't suppose I could do a little something with your drinks. Okay. Uh, could I pour you a drink? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's a shot of water for you, champ. Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, girlfriend. Here we come. Did that do anything? I mean, technically, I still have the bottle. We could probably go again. Okay. This is going to make the fight a whole lot more interesting. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to walk away this time. Maybe he'll stick around. Or maybe he'll go pee. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Now she's alone. Wait, how did Mr. Steel Your Girl get out of my pockets? <laughs> what is he doing back there? <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, he disappears again. I love inconsistencies like that. It's so freaking funny. Okay, she's alone. Now is the chance to pounce. Go ahead. Hit her with your best line. My love for you is like diarrhea. Sometimes I just can't hold it in. <laughs> I think that worked. It, it took her a good 10 seconds to realize that he was even sitting there, but... <laughs> it definitely worked. Okay, wonderful. Oh. Uh, that was a quick pee. How you huh. feeling? Oh, it burns when you pee? Oh, nah. You should get that checked out. It should not do that. <laughs> he didn't pass that on to you. I, I don't even care. You want to head to the bone zone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. There's no cutscene to set things up this time, but I'm assuming that he came home, had a hissy fit, ripped a hole in his shorts, and then passed out from the two shots of water we gave him? <laughs> do you think she would be in the other room? No. There is a lot of stuff though, so we better get to clicking, because you never know what you're gonna get. Like uh, a journal, a spiral bound notebook, or some kind of literature, I have no idea. I don't suppose I could open either of these. Okay, we also have scissors, interesting. I'm sure those two could go together somehow. Is that it? Seems to be about it. Uh. Can I maybe stab him in his sleep? <laughs> Probably not, no, okay, uh... Well, I, I, I guess we could just get you to read. Oh, you're gonna read to her? Where, where'd she even come from? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You had better be reading up about uh, floaty, hearty, heady isis Whatever I said earlier. I was thinking there might be something hidden underneath this inconspicuous mat, but it turns out I can make him do push-ups for some reason. He'll keep doing them. I don't know if he has something on him that we can get. Oh. Oh, no, that's just gonna make things worse. Oh, come on! His arms look like pipe cleaners! No, if, if you wanted tickets to the gun show, then you should have asked. What are you willing to bet the answer has something to do with this pillow? Because it doesn't look like he's actually lying on it. It looks like he's been rotoscoped and then it's been placed underneath him. So maybe if we get him to do some push-ups, then we could... Okay, I can't grab it. 
it's got a book inside. That's that's fine because we have scissors. So maybe I can cut it out? No. They wouldn't just randomly keep a book in their pillow if it wasn't relevant to me, would they? <laughs> okay, you're going to do more push-ups and and then I'm going to I can't use the scissors while he's doing push-ups and then she comes running in here wetter than an otter's pocket and it's an instant game over. <laughs> oh my god. And he even looks back at me. I hate him so freaking much. I'm thinking we just needed to grab the scissors before he does his first workout. There we go. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> so, do I need to slip that into the book or do I just give it to him? Because if she comes over and sits down and then they start reading and she sees that, she'd be pissed. But there's a good chance that I can just hand this to him. <laughs> what, what was that face? <laughs> oh, well, you know what? That works either way. Oh, God. I, I, I just can't get over this game. We need more live action games. Did she kick him out for staring at the titty mag? Because if that's the case, then we're done here. Like, mission accomplished. I could just leave you with your weird, messed up face. What did the rotoscope do to you now? <laughs> either way, I don't have any problem with you anymore. I could just go inside with her... And, oh, come on, really? Like, how was I supposed to, can you at least not be cute while you do that? Oh, it's just ripping me apart. I'm supposed to be tearing you apart. So the description said, well, now that we know what to expect, how about we head over to the very different perspective room and see if we can find anything interesting over here. I found a tube. Found a tube and a flower basket. Okay, that is definitely gonna be interesting. And candy. A tube and candy is all we have to work with. Great! <laughs> so, which of these two is least romantic? Uh, probably the tube, right? I would imagine you might be able to hit her with it like a baton. There we go. And then, yeah, you can get some too. I like that they do the little swollen anime lump and the fact that she hams it up like she's super intimidating. When you really think about it, I'm doing both of them a favor. Like, this is a bit of an abusive relationship, so it only makes sense that I would have about 20 seconds to fix it. Okay, great. Maybe I could just bonk you on the head with one of these plants or get rid of your phone entirely? No. What you playing there, bud? Looks like... Black and white StarCraft 2 or League of Legends, maybe? I swear I'm not trying to profile your ethnicity or something like that. Uh, maybe I can uh, give you a cup, a weird foreground cup. Would that help? No, apparently not. <laughs> well, screw me, I guess. Yeah, I think that was League of Legends. Man, she's always so fashion forward. And then he looks like an idiot. Why does he have holes in his basketball shorts? Meanwhile, she looks like she could be on the cover of Sears catalog. <laughs> it's just infuriating. I should just hire a hitman and get it over with. Just get him out of the picture and she'll be mine. So you don't want me to give you the pee cup, but clearly we need to use the pee cup for something. I'm, I'm just missing something else. Oh, oh, there was a level exactly like this in one of the past ones. I can't remember which one. They were all a fever dream at this point. Now you can't hear the phone. Now you can't see the phone. So you don't answer the call. So we have no problems. Now she could just ring and wait all day long and we'll just watch her awkwardly. Really, game? Are you kidding me right now? We're just gonna watch her squirm for a couple of minutes? <gasps> oh my god, it's actually cringy level of awkward. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, but you, you go, strong, independent woman, you could just walk all the way off screen because we really needed to see that. Ooh, a new Mr. Steel Yo Girl challenger has appeared. And she's wearing the same dumb socks again, and he's wearing the same shorts! Wait, 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 so they literally changed, like, half of wardrobe, and moved the camera a little bit, and got a way creepier guy to sit in the back, but other than that, it's the same level? 
I mean, I would imagine that means that I can get you. Yep, I sure can. Oh, except there isn't a chair here this time. So you can't come over while he's here because you're not confident enough. But I'm guessing I can probably make you go pee again. Isn't that right, champ? <laughs> One more shot of water. Now, remember, your limit is two. Three, you're going to go home and pass out. Two is just fine. I don't remember signing up for hydration simulator, but apparently this is what I'm doing now. Please go pee. There we go. And again, he finds his way into the background. <laughs> You're supposed to be in my pocket, lonely nerd. Okay, he's back. Good. So, this should be good. You, you can go sit down and then... Mm, nope. Nope, that's a little different. Oh. Weird. So it didn't pan out. Is it gonna... No, I thought it was gonna reset. We could try again, but they're leaving. Rightfully so. So what could we have done differently? So other than the third chair and their wardrobe, what else is different here? Like, I, I can't imagine the wardrobe actually plays into this, does it? No. Still can't pull up the socks? Nope. Still wouldn't help in all reality. You don't have a glass this time. Only he does. Which is strange. Instead, you guys have cell phones. But I can't do anything with the cell phones. Okay. So how about I give this to you? No. How about you? Uh, maybe even you? Okay, nobody wants it, I guess. <laughs> well, I stole some random bar goer's phone. That's great. Let's get you to go pee, and then maybe the phone will come in handy. I'm not going to pick up the nerd quite yet, because I'm thinking that I might need to give him the phone. And then make him move over. Okay, that's just one. And I just pour him a double? It'd make this so much easier. <laughs> Who's pouring, by the way? Is it her? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It, it's shot like he's sitting at a bar when he's not. Either way, it doesn't matter. I make fun of this stuff because I enjoy pointing out the indiscrepancies, but in all reality, this is... I, I would rather it be shot like this than be really good. I'll put it that way. If this was all flawless, it wouldn't be nearly as fun. So, oh crap, I talked for too long and he came back from his pee, are you kidding me? And, and now they're just gonna leave? Just as if he had hit on them, absolutely no different. Well, why does that guy have a little lightning bladder? I think I'm onto something here, because if I pick up the nerd, then I can actually put him back in place, which you normally can't do with stuff in these games. It's a good sign, so once again, we're gonna get you to go pee, and I'm gonna try my very best not to be a smartass and waste time. <laughs> no jokes, we only have a couple of seconds before this guy evacuates everything from his body. You go on with you. Now, what am I gonna do? Probably give the cell phone to the nerd, right? Do you want this? Oh, yes, good! Okay, so he's gonna text her? I love you, baby. What? Oh, he texted him. So now she thinks that he's cheating on her and he's got no idea. Yeah, you couldn't pee fast enough now, could you? Oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, well, look, look at this. So who, who's, who is that? Huh? Explain. No, you, you can't just wave this off. That's not how this works. Whoa. I know Tom Cruise likes to do his own stunts, but do you think she's available? She's about the same height. <laughs> oh, man. That's that just too good. Man, oh, man. This town is filled with Mr. Steel Yo girls. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> Looks like he's getting ready to Gangnam Style right up in her. And he is absolutely devastated. <laughs> so how can we make the situation worse? Actually, no. First, we should let this play out. I'm curious what's going to go down. He's going to slowly push him over and... They're gonna cut the tape to avoid any evidence of what I can only assume was the world's slowest murder. All right, then how about we try giving him a child's mirror? Yeah, all right. Uh, you could just look in and now you can see him coming. Or not. Mirror did absolutely nothing. It might have broke. Nine years bad luck in prison. We've got the mirror. Oh, we might also have some garbage or a baton. All right. Well, I'm going to give you both if that's the case. 
Oh, now he can see him coming in. Oh, you're gonna threaten her? Really? I don't think that's gonna win her over, but I mean, maybe. That's, that's an interesting look on her face that I can't quite pinpoint. <laughs> Somewhere between ecstasy and boredom? Either way, we could just have you go ahead and uh, beat the crap out of him. Uh, the reflective side was, was over this way. Did he just... All right, well, either way, she's a great ventriloquist, by the way. She is just screaming without moving her lips. You think he survived that encounter? Like, he might just have a lumpy head now. She would love him anyway, let's be completely honest. She's just so lovely. Okay, so they're getting ready to call one another. And again, you gotta see all the game over, so let's go ahead and boot up the Elgato. You guys can have your call the way you want it to be. Hi. What is... What is that? What kind, what, what kind of weird sorcery are you pulling here, woman? Was she just like getting fresh with a fly or something? That, that, that was like a Mr. Miyagi softcore. So we definitely don't want that call to happen again. Can I do anything to your very bright camera? No. Literally all that's here are pens and pencils. This kind of looks like lipstick though. What if I, oh, there we go. Okay, well that was a simple one. Oh, you're not getting the Mr. Miyagi goodness this time. <laughs> no, no, she is going to be pissed. She looks like Krillin just got blown up. <laughs> you cannot talk her down for becoming a Super Saiyan. You might as well just hang up the call now. Well, finally, this guy's looking at least a little bit sad. It's, it's day 10. We have made them fight 10 days in a row. And she's... Actually, I don't know where she is. Maybe she's across the street at the giant coffee machine? <gasps> what kind of weird perspective was this? Oh, uh, okay. I apparently grabbed wine. I just wanted to go back to see what exactly is going on here. Oh, so maybe if I give you a little of that, then you could go ahead and have- Oh, that, that's a double shot of water for sure. You're gonna be peeing- Oh, that might have been a triple, actually. I, I think that might have been a triple, and as we all know, his limit is two. <laughs> so he's out like a light, and then she goes home with Mr. Steel, yo girl. Wait, why is that a game over? Isn't that what we, oh, maybe we don't want her to end up with anyone because we want her. Well, isn't that terribly confusing? I'm guessing I can take this and then make you a cup of coffee to go with your liquor. That way, you should be able to have both, hopefully. Oh no, I was thinking that we could get them drunk, but awake. And that way when they walk by, they could just both beat the <sighs> crap out of each other. Instead, I just gave them the coffee. So you're gonna stay awake. Plenty sober, and oh, you're gonna see her cheating on you, and then that's gonna ruin things? Really? Is that, that's the answer? That's the answer. I kind of figured the liquor was always the answer, but apparently not. I swear these levels are getting weirder and weirder. Like, he looks like he's asleep. She looks like she huffed something out of a bag and now she's floating around on the moon. And that tree in the background is flexing at us. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Mischief to Couple, guys. I don't know if you wanna see more of this, but there is more of this. There are more levels to this game and then they've already made another one. And it's like I said, I make a lot of jokes, but this is hilarious. These games are so funny. We need more live action games. and There aren't nearly enough of them. So leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to find out why that tree is so muscular. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.